Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome animated parallax photo slider in PowerPoint step by step. So let's get started. So as always, let's open up a fresh blank new presentation and set the slide layout to blank. That's beautiful. And you can always go to view and activate guides so you better see where is the center of the slide. That's beautiful. And the first step, we need to find some beautiful photos. So we'll be using this beautiful photo of some mountains from Canada. Link is in the video description if you'd like to use the exact photo. So let's paste it into PowerPoint and let's just go to crop options and crop this uh, photo to 16 by 9 because 16 by 9 is dimensions of our slide. So let's just crop this photo, move it to one of the corners and drag it so it nicely covers the whole slide. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we can duplicate this first slide. All right. Let's zoom out a little bit. And here on the second slide, let's just select a photo and move it to the left side, just like this. So as you can see, uh, we have moved this photo halfway to the left side, all right? So just do it like this. And now let's just grab another beautiful photo. The, this is a photo from Norway. So let's just copy the image and let's paste it into the second slide. So once again, let's just crop it to 16 by 9. You can adjust your photo up and down so that you get the look you want. And let's move it to one of the corners and drag it so it covers the whole slide. That's beautiful. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit and let's just copy this beautiful picture of Norway, Command C or Control C. And let's paste it into the first slide and let's move it here to the right side of the slide window, just like this. Now let's make sure that we apply morph transition to slide number one and slide number two because morph transition will help us to do the animation. So here in the first slide we have the Canada picture in the center and the Norway picture here on the right side. And on the second slide we have the Norway picture in the center and the Canada picture is sent to back here on the left side. So you should have something similar, all right? And now if we would hit uh, preview, we should see some awesome parallax action going on. So let's just give it a shot. Beautiful. That's awesome. All right, so let's get back to our presentation. Let's get back to slide number two and let's just zoom out a little bit and let's search for a third picture. This is a beautiful picture of Indonesia. So let's just copy this picture and let's paste it into slide number two. And once again, let's crop it to 16 by nine. And let's make sure we have the correct size and let's move it to the right side of the slide window, just like this. All right, and we can actually duplicate slide number two and here on slide number three, we can delete the Canada picture. We can move the Norway picture here to the left side and the Indonesia picture, let's move it to the center, just like this. Let's make sure that the morph transition is set to all of the slides. And once again, let's preview and make sure that everything is working fine. So here's the second slide and here's the third slide. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, ladies and gentlemen, you are doing wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let me show you how we can create this uh, person. As you can see here, I have this cutout person. I guess this is a photographer holding a camera. So let me show you how we can create such a uh, cutout photo. So let's just insert a fresh blank new slide here in our presentation and let's get back to Unsplash and let's use this beautiful photo of a photographer. So let's just copy the photo. 
hit copy and let's just paste it into PowerPoint. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Let's increase the height of the photo so that we can better see the person. We can actually crop down the top of the photo like this. All right, let's zoom in. And now let's just click on the remove background button and we will be able to cut out this person. So the purple area is the area that's going to be removed. So let's make sure that uh, we remove this area as well. So let's just mark it with a red color like this. Let's remove these two areas here as well. And you can as well mark the areas to keep with this different button. So let's mark the areas we want to keep with this uh, green color pencil. Right, let's make sure we select the shoulder. Let's make sure we select the right arm. And as well as you can see, we need to select those legs here at the bottom. Don't worry if PowerPoint does something like that. You can always mark the areas you want to keep and everything will be looking beautiful. Okay, so when you're happy, just click on keep changes and this is the cutout that we have made. So now we can reduce the size of the photographer. Let's move it into the center. And now we can copy this picture and we can paste it into the first slide. So now we can delete the last slide. All right. And as you can see, the photo of the photographer is pretty bright. So let's just adjust the brightness and the contrast of uh, this picture so that you know the photographer blends better into the background pictures so let's reduce the brightness by minus 30 percent and for the contrast let's give it uh, plus 10 percent i think this way the photographer blends in a little bit better with the background photos that's beautiful and now we can just copy the photographer and we can paste it into the second slide and into the third slide that's that's all so let's give it a preview. Everything is working wonderful. And now all that's left to do is add those text boxes, Canada, Norway and Indonesia. So let's just go to the first slide. Let's go to insert, find the text box tool. Let's click anywhere and let's type in Canada. So let's select our text. Let's give it a white font color let's increase the font size to 70 points and let's use the Montserrat font and for the weight let's choose Montserrat black that's beautiful let's center align the text and let's move it somewhere right here that's awesome All right, so now we can duplicate this text box. We can right click on it and there should be a duplicate button. But if we don't find that button, we can always use Command D or Control D shortcut. So let's move this text box to the center of the Norway picture. We can use the align options to align it to the center and make sure that these two text boxes are in the same level. So let's align them to the top. That's beautiful. And let's just type in Norway here. That's beautiful. Now hold down the shift key and select both of the text boxes. Hit Ctrl or Command C to copy. Let's paste them to the second slide and let's move them here to the left side so that the Norway text box is in the center. For the Canada text box, let's just move it right here. That's awesome. And another way how you can copy a text box, you can always, of course, use Control C, Control V, but as well, you can select the text box, hold down the Alt or Option key and just drag the text box and this will automatically create a copy. And if you would hold down the Shift key as well, you would drag a copy in a straight line. So that's uh, really useful. Let's type in Indonesia right here. Awesome. So uh, let's make sure that the text box is aligned to the photo like this. So hold down the shift key, select Norway, Indonesia, and let's paste them into the third slide. Let's move uh, Indonesia to the center. Let's move the Norway a little bit closer like this. And we are pretty much finished. So let's preview it on the full screen.
So as we can see the background pictures are sliding beautifully and the text boxes are sliding as well and our photographer is staying fixed in one place so that's awesome. Everything is working as expected and ladies and gentlemen now you know how you can create this beautiful awesome parallax photo slider in PowerPoint. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.